Have you ever wondered how to record audio from your flights? Well, today we're covering five ways to record cockpit audio. All this, coming up. Whether it's for review, a video, or for a personal black box, you may find yourself asking, how do I record cockpit audio? Well, you're in luck. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Which one works best for you really depends on your use case, what you have at your disposal, or are willing to buy. Let's start with what all of our solutions have in common, the source. In whatever plane you're flying, you're plugging your headset into the audio panel through ports that look just like these guys. One port is for your headphones, and the other one is for your mic. The plane will most likely have a set of ports for each seat in the plane, but this isn't always the case. So to make sure you have an audio source to use, you're going to need a splitter like this. You plug this in before you plug in your headphones, and then you can plug your headphones in and a recording device at the same time. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to have links to everything I talk about down in the description, so make sure you check out down below. Now most of the recording devices on our list use a 3.5mm audio plug, so we're going to need an adapter like this little guy to make that happen. I like this one because it's small and rather durable. It comes in a 3-pack so you can store an extra one in your flight bag. Now the last thing you're going to need for all of our solutions is a cable to get from the source to the device. You'll need a 3.5mm auxiliary cable for that. The link in the description will lead you to one with a good quality cable that you can order in varying lengths to suit your needs. Personally, I use an 8 foot one so it can reach anywhere in the plane. Now that I've said all that, you might want to check your headset. Some have a 3.5mm jack on them that you can plug right into. This would allow you to skip purchasing the splitter and the adapter, but you'll still need an auxiliary cable to go from your headset to the recording device. Okay, with our source taken care of, now we can dive into the five solutions. If you're just looking to record audio, our first two solutions will be perfect for you. First up, an audio recorder. These guys are simple to use and can record for a really long time on a single set of batteries. All you need to do is plug the auxiliary cable into the input and start recording, provided you have the right settings. And then you just wrap the extra cable up and slip it away until your flight's over. Now about those settings. On my device, I found the need to turn it on before I plug the auxiliary cable in, and then I have to confirm that I want to use it. Otherwise it may use the built-in mic and all I get is a lot of airplane noises. Then I needed to set the audio input from mic to line in. This eliminates feedback from the system, which sounds like this. Now your mileage may vary depending on which device you go with, but check for similar settings to make sure you're getting the best audio quality possible. Now I put a link in the description to the updated version of the one that I use, but once it's set up, it's a fantastic recording device. Alright, our second option is your phone. And why not? It's what most of us have in our pocket anyways. Using a recording app of choice, you only need a conversion cable to convert the audio signal from the panel to one your smartphone can use. This simple cable from NFlight Cam does the trick rather nicely, and you don't have to buy any of the adapters I was talking about in the beginning, because it's an all-inclusive solution. Just take the output cable and plug it into your headphone jack on your phone. If your phone doesn't have a headphone jack, you can use a headphone jack adapter that's available for it, and it should work just fine. Our next couple options are for those who aren't only looking to record audio, but video as well. This is great if you're in flight training and want to record your training sessions, or if you want to capture that beautiful landing in Sedona, Arizona. No matter what the reason, a GoPro is a great way to do it. Now, I'm mostly sticking to GoPro here because they have a proven set of recording methods that you can use, unlike other action camera brands. If you have something other than a GoPro, you can always use the last two solutions to grab your audio and then line it up later in a video editor. And here's a pro tip. Clap your hands after you start recording so you have a visual and audio marker to line them up with. This makes things so much easier in editing, trust me. All right, let's start with the GoPro Series 3 Hero, Hero Plus, and GoPro 4 Series cameras. These cameras are cheap on the used market and you can record cockpit audio to them with this simple adapter from NFlight Cam. There are other solutions out there like the official GoPro mic adapter cable, but this cable gives you an added bonus, the ability to charge your camera during flight. Only one catch to it is you have to use an external battery pack to charge it. Otherwise, you may get feedback from your plane's charging system. Our next solution is for the GoPro 5, 6, and 7 series cameras. GoPro moved away from the simple cable they used on the previous series and introduced this little box. It's a clunky alternative to say the least, but it gets the job done and offers charging during use, something they didn't really support before. If you want to use this audio adapter, you have to make sure your GoPro is on the latest version of its firmware and software. 
Otherwise, your GoPro won't even recognize that it's there. Then, make sure that your settings are all right, or your audio will sound blown out and have feedback, like this. Well, I can't really hear myself, but should I put it for you? The setting you want to use is a line-in audio input, and it will give you crisp, clean audio every time. Now for our last solution, and it may not be the best, but it works and you can use it with an audio recorder, phone, or even a GoPro. It's this, a lavalier mic. This may sound strange, but you plug it into your recording device and slip the mic into your headset. Now everything that you'll hear will be picked up by the mic. It will work with just about any standard over-the-ear headset, but it works best with ones that have noise canceling. Oh, and you won't really feel the mic inside of your ear. This solution does require one more piece of equipment if you want to use it with your phone. It's this little guy to adapt the microphone output to one your phone can use. Now we're not going to leave you hanging with just the options. We're going to use each solution in flight so that you can hear the difference. All right, Tiffany and I are up here in the air and we're going to be testing these five methods of recording cockpit audio. Tiffany, take it away. Okay. This is the digital audio recorder. This is recording with your cell phone. This is recording with the GoPro Zero 4. And this is recording with the GoPro Zero 5. This is recording with the lab mic and a digital audio recorder with the noise reduction on. This is recording with the lab mic and a digital audio recorder with the noise reduction off. All right, that's it. Five ways to record cockpit audio. Now, we know we didn't address the new GoPro 8 here. It's so new we just couldn't get enough information on it yet, but we may look at it in a future video. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope that you enjoyed it. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, tell us why down inside of the comments. Also, if you have a way that you record cockpit audio that we didn't go over today, let us know down in the comments too, because we sure would like to hear about it. And remember, share aviation wherever you can. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.